morning, Sam. Oh, good morning, Sarah. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. It's so nice to get to start my day with you and take a look at the April box. Oh my gosh, March box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait till you see the April box, though. It is pretty, very I pretty. Can't wait. I can't wait. This box was stunning, though. And what a what a wonderful way to celebrate Sam's Speedbox birthday. Yeah, this is exciting because this is our third year officially doing the box. And we've unboxed every single box since the March 2021 box. Yep. And so now it's come full circle three years later. It is March 2024. So we also means it's our three-year friend. I, yeah, we, we became friends also around the beginning of 2021 as well. Yeah, yeah. So happy friend anniversary, Sarah. <laughs> Wow, are we uh, getting old? <laughs> <laughs> no, just, just, what's the word they use? Just better, not older, just um, wiser and more refined. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I refuse to say older. I'm not older. But you know who is older today? Speaking of which, it's Nicole's birthday. Happy birthday, wow. Nicole. Happy birthday, From the Nicole. Team. Yeah, she is uh, wow. one year older today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Nicole. Well, let's all send <laughs> Nicole some birthday love today. So Sarah and I hopped on this morning because we're taking a look at the March Sam's Bead Box. We'll go Ooh. through it. We'll do some making with it. Sarah has a beautiful necklace idea for you. Yes, yes, um, yes. In the, in the meantime, what's, what's the update, Sarah? The updates. Um, nothing different i don't guess to relay at the moment well no that's not necessarily true so my my patreon guys is 101 members on patreon so uh that is 101 people who are getting exclusive content you oh, don't wow. want to miss out on that so come and join my patreon it's ten dollars a month you get three at the most, or three at the least, four is the goal, uh, exclusive projects. They're projects that don't get streamed on Facebook. They don't get streamed on YouTube. They are just exclusive to those people. And this is very different than Hardwired, where Hardwired is very intensive and like hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, not super hard, but like we really focus on, you know, on, on techniques and it's very learning driven. Uh, the Patreon product projects are just fun, beautiful things that I love, and we just have a really good time putting those together. So you don't want to miss out on that because 101 people are already doing it without you. So if you want, I'm out, having FOMO. Out. I I think I missed this. This is exciting. <laughs> it is really exciting. So I put this together about a month ago. That's why it's amazing to me that I already have 100 people because it's only been active for a month. Um, I put it together because my Facebook family already has like four Facebook groups, right? There's a huge community of people on Facebook. On YouTube, I also have a very large YouTube community, but they don't really have a community hub. And mm -hmm. there are people that do YouTube that don't do Facebook. So they miss out on a lot of the community aspects. And I wanted to be sure that like I was giving to everybody as much as I could. So the Patreon was originally uh, just for YouTube member. Well, not just for YouTube members, but it was geared towards my YouTube family. Um, but if you're part of Facebook, you can come and do it as well. I mean, anybody mm -hmm. can can do it. But in addition to the, the exclusive content, there is a Discord server that acts the same way as a Facebook group. So it is a community hub for YouTube family to come and hang out and they can post their pictures and they can chat with each other. And it's just another way of, of just expanding the community just over on the YouTube side of things. So I'm really excited about it. And like I said, we've got, we've already got 101 people that are coming and hanging out. I so far have been releasing projects on Mondays. We've done four projects so far. I think four, I'm pretty sure. Um, and the response has just been really, really good. So there's that. And then of course, Hardwired is open for enrollment this week as well. So if you want to come <laughs> and do Hardwired, you can do that too. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, wow. You're, you, sound, you sound a little busy these days, Sarah. I'm busy, but you know what? It's so fun because I'm able to take the Patreon. I film those projects on Mondays and then upload them on Mondays. And it is such a cool thing because I can put together projects that I just want to put together just for fun. Mm -hmm. Instead of focusing on technique or focusing on a brand or focusing on anything, I'm just literally digging in my own stash, picking out things I like and putting together fun jewelry. And it's, it's kind of a nice way for me to like get to do some fun things for myself too. So it's cool. It's cool. And we're having fun. That's really cool. We'll have to check it out. Um, that's very <laughs> yeah, exciting. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Shall we take a look at the the box and try to get our creative juices flowing a little bit? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's talk about this box because I have questions and I have favorites. I'm going to turn you around. We're going to do the Yay. thing. <laughs> All right. Let me. Oh, I didn't even add my second camera so because I can show. So look, I'm being like Sam. Look. Oh my gosh. Oh, no way. way. No <laughs> way. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, oh that's so cute. I know. We're so, so cute. And, and then I have even in, I even have a match yeah. that kind of matches yours. No, look at us twinsy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. So welcome to the Rainbow Wishes <laughs> Sam's Beat Box. Um, this one is just, we love that. We love the idea of a rainbow as a symbol for the third anniversary, a lovely like mark of a new beginning, yes. something beautiful that, that comes after maybe like a storm, but even like symbolically, uh, we just thought it's like such a nice way to kick off a new year um, with just some like color, like we came up with a really colorful palette that is our own sort of muted rainbow. So if you look over here, the feature of our box, when I'm missing one, there we go, is five strands of these luster mixes. So these are a specialty from the Czech Republic where they take a clear bead mm -hmm. and then apply this really cool coating to it that totally transforms the bead. And it's done in these five main colors that happen to work really well together, I think. Yes. And so let's start with the fire polish. Yeah. Where you can see. I love them so much. You can see the five key colors there. It's the champagne, it's like rose, mm -hmm. amethyst, kind of sapphire and peridot tone all on one strand. So it's not your mm. full rainbow and it's not your classic bright kids, young rainbow. But this is this is our rainbow. Yeah, this is like an adult version of the rainbow, and it is so beautiful. I I love a fire polish bead all day, every day, but I do love this color combo that they do. I think it's absolutely beautiful, and I love that you use this as your feature for the box. I have a favorite shape out of these, um, and it's this one. This one is my favorite, and I didn't use it because this is one of those shapes that I want to just restring. You know how I am. Sometimes I get a strand, and I'm like, oh, I just want to restring it. This was one of I the, sure do. This, this strand was my absolute favorite out of all of them, though it was a really kind of hard toss-up because I do love a good fire polish round. But this one, yes, I just want to put this on some stretch cord and be an adult child. Does that, <laughs> is that okay? <laughs> I want to sit Always. in the corner and color with my beautiful, my beautiful <gasps> bracelet on. I, <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. I think it's so, so pretty. Now there was a couple other strands that I felt the same way about, but as far as the rainbow beads were concerned, this was my favorite. And of course the one that I felt like I could just restring it and, and, and just be happy with it and really kind of use this as my reminder of the three year anniversary, which I should have done ahead of time. And I just didn't do. So I will be doing that today. You're going to be seeing my stretch bracelet later. So maybe, maybe I'll see it on, on Patreon later. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and then the last two luster mixes would be our groovy rectangle here, which was very popular and is already sold out. So you can actually only get this strand if you purchase one of our extra boxes at this point. That's and we can't cool even shape. get more from the from the vendor right now. 
but it's isn't it cool? Yeah, it's really awesome. And then to round out our five strands of these custom strands, we did a lovely little drop for to be our raindrops of our so rainbow because you couldn't have a rainbow without your without the raindrops. Exactly, exactly. All right, all right. Now you have some Jimmy, some beautiful Jimmies in here. Can we talk we Jimmies? Have four Jimmies in this box. We usually go for three, but lately, lately we've been able to squeeze in an extra gem, which has been fun. So we gave everyone a 15 inch strand of lab rounds. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. People go crazy over Labradorite. It is one of my all time favorite stones. And you can find it in, in a huge range of qualities. We were able to get about a grade B for this box. Uh -huh. So sh everyone should have some, some flash in their strands, which is of course what makes Labradorite so special. Mm -hmm. And so I'm pretty. really happy that we were able to squeeze in a full strand of that. That felt like, that felt like a win to me. Oh yeah. Um, how about some gorgeous natural aquamarine being it being the birth stone of March? We thought folks might enjoy yes. some aquamarine to work with. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. We even did some moonstone as well in these pebbles. Yep, this was one of my favorites. Really? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I love it so much. That's another one of those like Put it with some freshwater pearls and just string it up. Oh, I love it so much. So beautiful. Well, if anyone has extra pearls from their February box, I think that's a great idea. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. Maybe pop a couple of these little colored guys in there. But, oh, I love it just like it is. It's just so luxurious. And what was kind of unexpected about this moonstone, there's an occasional blue flash in it. Mm-hmm. Which is a marker that it's actually a form of rainbow moonstone. And yeah, so it's look a pretty, at that. Oh. It's pretty cool that they're that mixed into here. We're able to there's some some of those some of those rainbows. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So pretty. Let's see what we got left for strands. So we've got my personal favorite item in the box. Yep. These love crystal these. A B nuggets. Aren't they? I think I'm just kind of obsessed with these. Yeah, they're I've, absolutely. Well, I'm beautiful. obsessed with anything crystal A B right now, Sarah. Oh yeah. Always, always a winner. This shape is awesome. It's like little clouds, little little clouds or little raindrops or puddles. Ugh, it was just a perfect choice for this box. It really a beautiful bead. Yeah, and that's one of the advantages advantages of getting to custom order for the box is we knew we wanted this bead, but we wanted to make it a little extra special, so we added that that A B coating to it. I think it's exactly what it needed. To have yep. it kind of has a similar light play as some of those some of the other beads in the box. We yeah, wanted those, that, those, those, those glows. And then the last strand would be what our first blue. Because we had to have a nice, beautiful blue sky in our Rainbow Wishes box. And this is a mixed glass druk. So druk means a round bead mm -hmm. from the Czech Republic. I love how the custom mix came out. I kind of feel like this is a color I've seen you wear a lot, especially on your yeah. nails. Oh yeah, yeah. I love I love a good blue anytime, anytime. And there, uh, it's funny. I I have just spent the past weekend going through a lot of my beads because I'm making some bead soup for some upcoming, you know, uh, sales in my Etsy shop, and I find that I have more blue than anything else. And, and I'm not mad about it. I love blue in all shades of blue. It's funny because red is my favorite color. You would think that I have, I would have tons of red. I don't, I have very, very little red, but I have tons of blue. And I don't think there's a single shade of blue that I don't like. I love them. <laughs> I love them You're in all. good company, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just such an easy color to work with. I feel like lots of people really like blue and you added some really beautiful blue in here. The little, the Preciosa bicones, the table cut. Oh my gosh. Like you, you spoiled us with the beautiful blues. Yeah. We kind of just kept finding blues we like and added them to the box. So yeah, Preciosa table cuts. Mm -hmm. We got a mixed glass coin, which we're able to get pretty close in color to yeah. the drook, which I love. I always love when beads, beads can match in the box. Mm -hmm. And then this one was a little fun experiment. It's, another, it's a new shape for the box. And we custom ordered it with a blue wash and an AB. So These it's are a little so more fun. Subtle. 
if you turn it, you'll see little glimpses of that AB rainbow. Yeah. Oh, they're so pretty. So just for some little blue cloud. Love it. Because love it. Love it. Blue in our in our in our universe here. And then we'll round out the box. We've got some tear cast metals. This is their Marrakesh uh, chandelier. Mm -hmm. But we picked it because when you turn it over, it looks like an umbrella or a rainbow. Oh my god, <laughs> it's a stinking rainbow. I was like looking at it, I'm like, it's an umbrella. No, it's a rainbow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's the cold medicine, I'm telling you. <laughs> 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 well, I'm not gonna forget that. That's hysterical. And well, you, you could be an umbrella. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you guys oh, just have like a kind of Parisian, like parasol. Yeah, it does. Look to it. <laughs> we we oh, also did a button, mm -hmm. and I know Sarah loves a button. Oh yeah, always love a button. And then for a third tier gas item that we custom ordered before they closed is this hook and eye link that I absolutely love with the hammer tone finish. I yeah. think we have some stock and some different finishes of these, but they are just like one of the, I love just the simplicity and beauty of it. Yeah, I could use this too. in any piece. And also I love a class that is usable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll really fight all the fight this class. Yeah, that's a pretty one. It's such a pretty one. All right, take me through your favorites of what we've got left here. We've got all okay. our little focal now. So my my favorite focal of the box is the sun. That is just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Mm, yeah. You could have done an entire box in this shade of yellow, and I I, I would have been... And it's crazy, because I'm not much of a yellow person, but this is just gorgeous. This makes me feel kind of fancy, but also oh. very whimsical. It's just such a cool bead. I love that you added that. And then, of course, the cloud, which I adore. And I'm using that as my focal for the necklace project that we're going to do, but... These were my favorites. Now, I do love, of course, the birds. I mean, you can't go wrong with the birds. But these were two very unexpected elements. And I think that th that's why I was really, really drawn to those. Because I was like, oh, yeah. I like this really kind of brings everything together and makes it like, okay, I get this. Now, I, I was immediately inspired and knew exactly what I wanted to make. So Sweet. I love it when there are things like that that jump out to me. You know that are like, oh, yep, I know what this 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 is going to be a necklace, and it's going to be like this whole painted scene <laughs> with beads. And that this box just really, really inspired me. It it really did. And I don't know if it's because of the the warm, squishy feeling I get about the three year birthday of the box, or if it is just the 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 overall theme of the box. I can't really tell which is which. Either way, I'm going with it because this was such an amazing three years. You know, I mean, it's so many things have happened and changed in both of our lives and sure. the box has grown and changed and has just become this amazing thing that everybody looks forward to and everybody talks about. And like, it's really brought a whole community of people together. So you guys have done an amazing job. And this was just the perfect, I think just the perfect way to kind of bring all of that together to, to mark the occasion. I am in love with this box and Aww, I thank you I Sarah can, I'm actually in love with the project which is weird for me because like I make a lot of jewelry and some of it I love and some of it I'm just like yeah okay that's fine this was a project that I really really truly loved and had a really good time putting together and yeah, it's I think this, people, this is a this is a cool idea you came up with so we're gonna move over into the actual project making of today's uh of today's stream. Um, in the meantime, if you're not subscribed to Sam's Beadbox, you definitely, I hope you'll consider joining us. We've got links in the comments, links in the description of this video. Essentially go to samsbeadbox.com and you can join the box. You can use Sarah's code S-A-R-A -A for $5 off your first month. And your first box, if you order before April 9th, 2024, 
will be the April box, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I will give no clues. Sharis made me much better about not giving clues. <laughs> <laughs> no I, used to Sarah, I used to tell Sarah a clue on this stream usually way way back when. <laughs> um, I will I won't say anything. It's just it's really, really gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And if you do want extra boxes of the March box, we have extra boxes, we have individual extras. That is all linked in the description of the video as well. Now I'm excited to make this to see how Sarah <laughs> puts this project together. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I was feeling every single bit of this box and <clears throat> I really wanted to kind of paint like, and I say paint with beads. That's, that's what I'm going for. I really wanted to kind of put a piece together that really kind of was the transition of like the sun and the clouds and the rain and the rainbow afterwards. And at first I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get that all into one piece, but I think that I was able to achieve it at least to a degree that is understandable when you look at it. And <clears throat> my daughter, this piece had been hanging in here in my office um, on a board for a while. Cause I, yeah. I got to put this together really early and she came in here and she was, she wore it around all weekend and she was like, can I have this? And I was like, no, wait, you have to wait. I have to make the project first, but then I can give it to you. <laughs> and so for me, like that, if I can get that out of a 14 year old, that's like my stamp of approval. The fact that she loved it and was like, can I have that? I was like, yes, this is a winner. This is a winner. So, okay. So I use the cloud as my focal and okay. I use some of these beautiful little preciosa bicones and some of the drops and i'm gonna create some rain coming off of these and i want to do it in a staggered way so that like the longest strand is in the middle and then we have our little our little short strands. So basically I'm using a different number of bicones <clears throat> and making these little beaded chains. And then I'm going to put my drop on the bottom. Now for right this second, I'm just showing you what we're doing and then we'll, we'll get into the actual like nitty gritty of this, but I just want to lay it yeah. out first. So this is our focus. So okay. So coming off of this, I wanted, I wanted like beautiful clouds in the sunshine. And then I wanted the beautiful rainbow on the other side. So I used Sam's favorite beads on one side and we're doing just a beaded chain of these. Yes. Beautiful... Yes. 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 So those Even are gonna better now off of this side. Okay. Those are going to go that direction. And <clears throat> we're going to make our little sun a dangle over here. Okay. So just stay with me here. We're, we're going to do lots we're of with dangling things. We're with you. <laughs> lots of dangly things. Okay. Then on the other side of this, I wanted to use these beads, which were such a cool shape. These to me, when I saw them, I was like, it's just like a slice out of a rainbow. Like that's what this looks like, <sighs> right? If you see a, a, like a big wide strip of rainbow, this is just like a slice of that. It's just a chunk of rainbow. And I was like, oh, yep. that's fun. I love that gonna, idea. Gonna do a little chunk of rainbow going up this direction. We're gonna add our green to that. So we've got our rainbow going this way. And I wanted to finish that off with a beautiful birdie and a little cluster underneath that, just so that we had kind of a balanced dangle going on. So this is the, this is where we're going. We're going to get there. I, I've done a lot of it in advance to just to kind of save some time. And then to finish this off, I just picked some ribbon that I had, some silk some silk ribbon you literally could use anything i liked this one because it was this kind of cloudy moody you know it was still like the storm clouds that are going to be over mm -hmm. the top of all of this once it all gets put um, together also just the ombre of it i think is really nice yeah yeah so this is where we're going and it just i don't know there's something about the fact that like you can literally see what I was trying to say and what the box was saying, right? You know, you've got your sun, you've got your rain. And then after the rain, you've got this beautiful rainbow. And it really is just, this is one of the rare opportunities that I've been able to take some beads and create an absolute identifiable story 
with the beads and you don't have to question it. Like you look at it and you know what it is. Like I'm all yeah. about creating art pieces and wearable art. I do a lot of that in my free time with, with jewelry that I create. This is one of the times where I get to share it with everybody. So I was really excited about this. It's so oh, cool. All right. So let's put it I feel together. Like you were in a zone when you came up with this piece, Sarah. I was, I really, I was on a mission for sure, for sure. All right, we're going to start in the middle. So I'm going to kind of sit these other elements off to the side here. But our little beaded chains here <clears throat> in the front of this necklace. So some of them I've already done, and I'm going to just go ahead and connect. So I've got this one is our shortest strand with just one of the Preciosa bicones and one of those drops. So the drop is on a head pin, the, the bicone is on an eye pin, and then I'm using a jump ring to connect it to our little cloud here. All right, and then the next one over needs the drop. So it is gonna be, and it also needs a bicone as well. So this one's gonna be three. This is the longest one. So it's gonna be three of the bicones and the drop. So let's do that together. So two of these are already linked together with our jump ring. We're going to go ahead and add another. So I'm going to take one of my eye pins, twist to open. I'm going to thread on an eye pin, twist to close. Okay. And then we're just going to do a simple loop here. So we're going to grab the wire bin. We're going to come in with our cutter tool and trim off. And then we're gonna use our round nose pliers to roll back to create a simple loop. Okay. And then we need to add our actual drop to the bottom of this. So we're just gonna thread it on to a head pin and we're gonna do a simple loop on it and then we're gonna attach it. So okay. let's bend the wire right where it is exiting the bead. Coming in with my cutter tool, I'm going to trim off, leaving myself about a fourth of an inch of wire. And then use the round nose pliers, roll back. And then I'm going to reopen that loop. So I'm just going to take my chain nose pliers, twist to open, thread that onto the bottom of that, and close that back. Okay, so this is our middle drop that's got the three bicones. So this one is, like I mentioned, the longest one out of all three. And then last but not least, we're going to do one that has two bicones, just the exact same way, put all this together and add our jump ring. All right, then at the top of this, I'm gonna do a jump ring and <clears throat> let's see here. So I'm, gonna use a, I'm gonna use two jump rings because I need this to be front facing and I also want my larger jump ring to be front facing because that's gonna be our connection for our two beaded chains. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to our cloud and then we'll work on those two chains. All right, There's so our so focal like light movement I think in this piece from all the little crystals dangling yes. and then the clouds like it, just, it all just works really nicely thematically as well I think so too I think so too all right so this little beaded chain with our AB our clear AB beads this one is going to be one two three four five six beads long and there's no jump rings in between so it is just a beaded chain so I'm going to take another eye pin we're going to add the last bead to this side. Okay, so we're going to thread that on and we're going to do another simple loop to finish this off. Coming in with my cutter, give myself a fourth of an inch of wire. And then roll back. All right, so we've got our little beaded chain and then we wanna put a jump ring on the end of that. So I put a little four millimeter jump ring on the end. 
that one is going to go that direction. Of course, it could be either or. It makes no difference. And then same thing with these guys. So we're just putting them all onto eye pins and we are just linking them together. Easy peasy. Lots of simple loops here and you can always switch out the simple loops for wrapped loops if you want to. And instead sure. of using eye pins, you absolutely can, um, you know, you can just cut your own wire and make make little wrapped links if you want. So I'm going to thread that on and do a simple loop on the top. And then we're going to work on our little dangle elements for this because each little element has its own, own little situation because our bird has a, has a cluster underneath it and our sun needs to be wrapped. Okay. So let's do the sun first. The sun is going to be <clears throat> a sun plus one of the little yellow fire polish. Okay. Cause we have to wire wrap this and we want to make it as easy as possible. And adding a bead is always really helpful. So I'm going to take some 22 gauge um, German style wire. Cause that's my go-to and yep. <clears throat> going to cut really only need about four inches of that or less, just whatever you're comfortable working with. But we're going to take that wire and we're going to thread that through the front of our sun. And I'm not going to drop it to the middle. I'm going to have it about an inch from the end. And we're going to crisscross those two wires right over the tip of the bead. Okay. We're going to take the long wire, bend it straight up and down. And then we're going to take the shorter wire and bend it out. So we're making like an L shape here. Then we're going to come in with our bent chain nose pliers to hold on to that little crisscross section. And we're going to wire wrap two or three times. And then we're going to trim off the excess. Here comes the sun. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> <Doo -doo. laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness all right now that i've dropped a bead on here i don't have to worry about those wire wraps matching each other i can just treat this like a regular bead we're going to do a wrapped loop i'm going to do the wrapped loop away from me so that it can attach to a jump ring so i'm going to do it this direction <laughs> up and over, rotate, take the wire over to the other side, and then we're going to wire wrap. Okay, and then we're going to trim off the excess. So you can see now we can hang our sun. <laughs> Laurie says, I love the tutorial and I love Sarah's happy fingernails. I would love to know how she works with them. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten really used to it, but it's funny with wire work, like in hardwired in particular, we do a lot of like wire weaving and stuff. Um, I use my fingernails as tools. So not having them <laughs> is, is way worse because I use them as like tweezers. I use them as like chain nose pliers. I use them for everything. And yeah, you just, you kind of get used to it. It's, it's definitely one of those things where you have to, you know, you, you make adjustments. Cause I used to not have fingernails at all. Now I, I feel naked without them. So, <laughs> 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 all right. So now that's going to hang up here. Right. And then we've got to do our little bird and our cluster. Now you guys have seen me do clusters a million times. So I didn't want to go through the entire cluster with you, but I do want to talk about it because it never fails. Somebody asks. So the clusters are really the core of these is jump rings. Okay. So I'm using four millimeter jump rings as my center for my cluster. And basically what I do is I, I'm trying to find the top of this one so I can hold it up for you so you can see. All right. So basically what I do is I do one jump ring per section the bottom jump ring only has one bead it hangs the longest right so you've got that little bead you can see he's kind of hanging out the bottom there i go up from there and add a jump ring to that and on either side of that jump ring if i can isolate this you can see i've added a bead 
right, on either side. My beads have wire wrap loops. You can do simple loops. It makes no difference whatsoever. But you add one of those to either side, making sure that they're on either side of the previous jump ring because you want this to hang balanced. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to go up, add another jump ring, and again, same thing. You're going to put a bead on either side so that it hangs nice and balanced. And you just build upwards like that, putting a jump ring and two beads and making sure that each bead is on either side of the previous jump ring. That previous jump ring needs to hang in the middle, right? That's what makes all of this nice and balanced. So we're going to do the top layer of this. So we're going to wire wrap these two beads and then we're going to add these. And then we're going to add these to our bird here. So each one of these little fire polish beads is going to go onto a head pin. And if you need to see the cluster like in in more in depth, I have I have tons of projects where we do those clusters because they're one of my favorite things. They're so pretty. I think clusters have been a problem my all time favorite techniques the entire time I've worked with wire. Yep. Because it's not a, it's not once you get the hang of it, it's not a difficult technique, but it yields like so much fun. Yes, it, it really so does. Like, oh, it it packs a punch for the difficulty level. Yep. And it's a great it's good practice for your simple loops, your wire wrap loops, and you get some nice cha cha results. Agreed. Agreed. You know, and there's lots of ways to do clustery drops and, and they all look good. This one is my favorite, but there are others. Um, we could have just as easily taken all of these beads uh, and instead of hanging them from jump rings, we could have taken a single, you know, just like a, a single eye pin and layered them up, you know, dropped them all onto the single eye pin and done a cluster that way. There's a lot of different ways to do a cluster. None of them are difficult, but you're right. Every single one of them packs such a nice punch and really just adds such a fun element to designs. And I'm all about dangles. So any way to make a dangle, I'm, I'm there for it. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> I love, I love a little cha-cha in all of my designs. All right. So going to find the top jump ring, which is right there. So I've got it situated so that I've got a bead on either side so that when I come in with the next jump ring, I know where to attach it. Okay, so you can see there's a bead on either side. And then I'm going to put a bead on either side of this one. And then before I close this, I'm going to go ahead and add an eye pin because we're going to add our bird bead to the top of this. So I'm going to attach my eye pin that goes, of course, in the center. Close that back. And we've got our beautiful rainbow dangle. So pretty. Cute. All right, let's add our bird. And then we're going to do a wrap loop on the top of the bird. Bending the wire, coming in on those pliers, going up and over. Rotate, take the wire over to the other side, and then we're going to wire wrap. I hear you working on something. What are you doing? I, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I am, I am I doing nothing. You. I don't believe you. <laughs> uh -huh. I would. It's a little. I'm a little bit of an experimentation mode at the moment. Oh, I love that. I love Sam experiments because they're always amazing. They they definitely have ideas behind them, but they don't always have the execution. <laughs> <laughs> what you got going on over there? <laughs> so I grabbed. We did a quartet of pipe chain. Mm-hmm. For to, to accompany this box that I think we still hopefully have some available of. And I started making these like little bows. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess they're more like arcs. And yeah. 
so the ideas there, I obviously I'm just kind of doing step one, which is assembling it, but then I don't actually know how these things are going to become jewelry. <laughs> but my dream, I cut them so they would theoretically lay nicely. And I really should look back. I think Neelay has a rainbow tutorial. I should just look, go look at that. But hoping this can become a rainbow. And if not, it can be a an upside down rainbow. <laughs> 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 Something like that. I actually, that love. would work. Wait, that actually would work potentially. Because then the necklace could continue up from there. Yep. Okay, maybe this isn't the worst thing because I had no idea how this was really going to come together this direction. All right, we're, we're flipping the script. Because <laughs> <laughs> even this could potentially, these could be staggered as well. All right, interesting. All I right, that's, that's what I'm working on. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm getting my, I'm getting my cord ready here. So my... I didn't want to cut my um, my ribbon, so I'm just taking one ribbon, and I kind of messed up here, but taking one ribbon, folding it in half, I'm going to go through a jump ring, and I'm just going to create a lark's head knot. So there's my loop, and then I'm going to take my ends through my loop. And the reason that I messed up is because my other end is still connected. This came undone and my other end is still connected. So I'm trying to make this happen while also keeping my thread or my cords even, but I did at that time. So got my, my Lark's head knot here. So my strands are double stranded and it's a, um, a large jump ring here. And this large jump ring is where our two ends are going to come together. I'm going to use some jump rings here. So I'm going to use a little four millimeter jump ring, thread that on and then attach that. And then I also want to add my son to this and he doesn't necessarily need a jump ring because He's facing I definitely thought pressure. you were talking about your actual son for a moment. <laughs> Want to add my son to this? No, I'm not talking to him. He gave me a cold again. I gave him a cold <laughs> and he gave it back to me. <laughs> I'm mad. He at said him you can take it back, mom. <laughs> he did. He was like, here you go. <laughs> Thanks for the cold. I'm giving it back. All right. Okay. So then on the other end, of my my uh, ribbon, I've just tied an overhanded knot to another large jump ring, which means that our clasp is actually gonna go here in the front. So it's gonna come down right in here and put all this together. So I'm gonna take a large jump ring here. I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna thread on my rainbow. I'm gonna thread on my bird. And my clasp. Now I want to show you my clasp already has a couple of jump rings on it. It's really just kind of figuring out like how many jump rings you need to make everything face the direction that you want. So I've got two extra jump rings sitting over here and I'm kind of wondering where they go. <laughs> <laughs> How? Where did these jump rings come from? And where where did I where did I miss? But <laughs> well, I hate I guess it when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll know soon. I know, right? I'm 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 not really sure where they were supposed to go, but <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming together exactly the way that it was supposed to. So maybe those two jump rings weren't necessary. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> not really sure but there we go so I know it's a little difficult to see all in one shot but there we go with all of that and our ribbon and our necklace is complete now it looks much better on the bust so I'll show you 
it on the bust here in just a second. It already looks and amazing. Oh my goodness. It's turned around. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. I'm going to turn you around. And get this on the next button so you can see it. So, what do you got going on this week? Oh, um, oh, so much, Sarah. My goodness, I almost <laughs> forgot everything. <laughs> Let's see. So, we have a live sale today. Mm -hmm. which is looking gorgeous. We got, we actually do, are doing a trio live sale. Usually we do two live sales. This yeah. week we decided to do three live sales just to be a little extra this week for spring cleaning. We are deciding we are, we have all these new beads from Tucson and we got all yeah. these beads from before Tucson. So it's time, it's, it is time for a proper sale. Yeah. So we are doing a three part three part live sale to put as many things as we can on sale throughout this week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Right. So uh, there's some great deals coming folks way this week, starting today at five o'clock Pacific. So just make sure you're on the Sans Shop email and text list. Uh, I'm sure it's linked in the comp linked in the description. If you want to just make sure you're in the loop about what's coming up, folks often like our deal days because we don't do a lot of big promotions at the shop. Right. And I will be doing slash like we call them Sharpie slashes when I take that retail price and take anywhere from like 10 to sometimes 50 plus percent off an item if we really want to get rid of it. Right. So if you're interested, if, you've, if you're someone who likes beads when they're on sale, this is a good week for you to come hang out with us at Sam's Bead Shop. We've got lots of deals coming your way. So come to the yeah, live sale, five yeah. o'clock Pacific tonight. That's Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, and I saw Jesse had posted here in the comments about the pipe chain. There's only a little bit of that left. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, we still have some of this. The, the pipe chain comes in the four colors here. I'm finally understanding the construction here. I'm shortening it more, and I think it'll fit much better as a little rainbow. Oh, it's going to be so I'm pretty. Done. I I figured out where the jump rings go. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right this second is I figured out where the jump rings go. I'm going to show you here in just a second. But <laughs> so I can show folks the basic technique here. I'm using an 18 gauge. I think I would recommend a 20 gauge just because the 18 gauge is having a little bit of trouble with the fire polish right. that I'm pairing with it. But it obviously is working well enough. I've only broken one fire polish. And that's just because I was being a bit forceful <laughs> <laughs> now it's generally not a good rule of thumb with your beads if it doesn't go on your stringing material it means it, it is it should not go on that stringing material <laughs> and what i'm doing is i'm taking a fire polish or the ones that fit which some of them are and then come on <laughs> So the 18 gauge wire is providing kind of the structure inside the pipe chain. Right. Um, but if, if this wire has even like the smallest little kink on it, the bead is not going to want to go on. Yep. At this point, I don't need this much wire. So maybe I'll just see if I can win this battle. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Oh my goodness. All my remaining ones don't want to go on. <laughs> oh. Well, the basic technique here is I'm putting on a fire polish, um, one of our cord ends, mm -hmm. section of pipe chain, and then repeating this, this step and shortening it each time. And then we, since it's a four color pipe chain, I'm gonna do a little four color rainbow, which I think achieves the idea pretty well. I think so too, yeah. And yeah, so that's 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 where this my necklace is going for this morning. How's your I necklace looking? It. So I got it. I got it ready to go. Here we go. It is all ready. Oh. So the extra jump rings went over here on. Wow. On everything is backwards for me. Everything <laughs> went over here on the bird because he needed a little extra length um, just to kind of get him away from the other beads. So that's where those jump rings went. I don't know why I didn't remember that wow. until I had it hanging, and then I was like, oh, yeah. it makes sense now. But that is our beautiful necklace here. I just, it's just a happy piece. 
You it's know? so nice. It really the is. The sun fun. really shines. I love how it's the sun's off to the side. It's like a little like brooch. Yeah. It's just a fun, happy piece. It's whimsical. It shows you that we don't take ourselves too seriously around here. Jewelry doesn't have to be serious. It can be fun. It can be, you can paint a picture. It can be anything you want it to be and still be beautiful. And you made that possible with the beautiful beads because I don't know that this would have worked with other beads. I mean, maybe, mm -hmm. but I think what you put together is really what made this really, really work. It's all of the shimmers. It's like what you said. It's it's the it's the shimmers and the like the finishes on the beads. It really just all kind of made it all work together really, really well. So mm. yeah, I think it's I think it's a fun piece. I like it. My daughter oh, loved it. So I even mean, how I the win. cloud is kind of like moving through the sky a little bit and the raindrops drip like they feel like they're kind of falling as they move there that's so nice yeah it's pretty and it's sparkly it's dangly I, it's it's all of the things that i love <laughs> 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 i love it thank you for giving me amazing beads to create with it was so well, much fun as always it is a joy to get to send you the beads and see what what magic you come up with each month Always, and always fun. I have a, I have a sneak peek. I, I couldn't help but grab a palette for today. Oh my goodness! Wowza! We have a few uh, cool items coming up today. A few? <laughs> That's a whole tray of good items. Amazingness! Oh my goodness! Yeah. yeah. Let's see if there we go. We got some turquoise, some sapphire. Ooh. Our newest line is all these high-end carved shell beads that we got in Tucson. Oh my gosh, those are stunning. Isn't that gorgeous? We've had these in some different colors and different shapes. We even have our first line of these like old stock carved bone pendants and beads. Wow. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, so I'm I'm looking forward to Ooh, wait, these are kind of <laughs> look good together. Oh my goodness. Anytime I see the, we, I get, I work custom get these five piece strands, and every time I just see like, ooh, little fo little focal set. Yeah. Oh, that's right perfect. there. Yep. Right. And then I think our most popular item today might be our hand carved labs. My goodness, those are gorgeous. <laughs> wow. Aren't they kind of? Aren't they oh breathtaking? Oh my gosh, they get bigger. Those are amazing. Oh, those are so pretty. So this is going to be a fun live sale. So don't yes, don't <laughs> don't forget to set your alarm. We are going to have a party tonight. Tur we do. We try to show new, new new turquoise from Tucson every Tuesday because we got so much beautiful turquoise in Tucson. Yeah. And some of it, some really great. Like these are less than thirty bucks a strand. There's some gorgeous turquoise. So Love. Yeah. yeah. So I hope I get to hang with all of you a second time today. Oh my gosh, I keep picking up different pendants here. Oh my goodness. Mm, that's so pretty. Beautiful. And that's a favorite of mine, Red Creek Jasper. Yeah. Gosh, look at they're like all little individual paintings. They're so beautiful. So I I'm excited. I, I got to go prep for the sale. This has been so much fun, Sarah. And yeah, if you want Always to go yeah, definitely join the email and wait list and mm -hmm. sorry, email and text list. <laughs> <laughs> and then don't forget about Sarah's got hardwire open enrollment right now. Mm -hmm. And it's the link to the Patreon. Hopefully we got that as well. Yes, yes, yes. With the video. There's a lot going on this week. So, yeah, it's exciting. So maybe yes. what do you, what's your next stream this week? So Hardwired meets today at 4 p.m. Eastern time for our weekly project. Um, and if you guys are interested in a little teaser, I posted it on Facebook, um, but I'm going to I'm going to hold it up here. So we're doing a um, an eye, a wire wrapped eye bracelet. Oh so gosh. if you're curious as to what it is that we do in Hardwired, this is a really good representation. 
of what we do. I had somebody, when I posted this, they were like, there's no way I can do that. And I'm like, I promise you can. You absolutely 100% can. That's what we do over in Hardwired. So if you're interested in joining and signing up, definitely want you to do that because I, I try my very best to teach kind of intermediate skills in a beginner fashion so that I make it easier for everybody to really kind of understand. We're all about supporting each other and building each other up and making you confident with using wire. So um, if you'd like to up your wire game, come hang out in the Hardwired group. We would absolutely love to have you. We only open for enrollment once a month. Um, and then that's it for me until, uh, Friday, of course, hardwired meets again in there in the middle of the week, but Friday, feel good Friday show is at 1 PM Eastern time. Set your reminders for those. I'm already working on some great things for Friday show. So sweet. Yep. Um, I want to learn that technique where you, all the, the, the wire, like pointies on that eye. I've always wanted yeah. to learn that, that it's like, cause it comes from like a weave of sorts, doesn't it? It does. It does. You start out with a completely like this project actually happens in two sections because you do right. the weaving part first and then you take you strip it from the wires that you did it and then you apply it to another project, you know, another. Oh, cool. Yeah. It, yeah. it has such an art deco feel to it. I think like it almost looks like the Chrysler building to me. Yeah, it, does. it really does. <laughs> really cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that's exciting. Um. Well, Sarah, thank you for, thanks for hanging this morning. This was such a joy. Yes, I can't honestly think of a better way to start the morning. I feel five times better than I did an hour ago. Me too. Me too. It is always a pleasure, Sam. Thank you so much. And thank you for everybody for joining us. We appreciate yes. you and love you. And we will all be seeing you guys later. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Happy beating. <laughs>